So I'm very happy to, to talk about the Padova study. We uh, initiated it uh, to follow up on the signals that we've seen into the Pasadena study, which we've reported in the past. So we expanded on the Pasadena study uh, in a way that uh, uh, we included also patients that were treated with standard of care levodopa. Uh, while in Pasadena we only had treatment naive and uh, patients on uh, Malbi treatment, in this study now we have Malbi treated and levodopa treated patients. What uh, we intended to do is to uh, uh, explore the safety and efficacy of prazinezumab in this population and trying to understand whether the signals that we observed in the previous study are uh, indeed true. Uh, we have changed a bit the design. Uh, the primary endpoint in this study is a time to event. It's a novel approach where we uh, use existing scales like MDS, UPDRS, but we've defined uh, a cutoff of uh, a meaningful motor progression, which is five points. So the study will uh, look at the appearance of these events and, and the difference between placebo and active. Um, you asked me about uh, the um, baseline data. We're happy to report that we finished recruitment and therefore we were able to look uh, for the first time at baseline. Uh, we compared the Padova data to Pasadena and to the PPMI study uh, because these are all related studies in early stage PD. And they, uh, even though they look very similar, there's still some differences. The Padova study uh, is enrolling a little bit uh, more advanced patients. And this is because we increased uh, uh, the, the inclusion criteria to incorporate also people that are on standard of care medication. Uh, and that is represented by a little bit longer disease duration, a little bit higher percent of people with Honanier stage two as compared to one. Uh, but altogether, we think this is a, a, a population which will help us answer the question that we set up to, to, to ask, and it is whether prazinezumab uh, is impacting uh, Parkinson's disease progression. We're really looking forward to the results and the outcome of this study. If this is successful, we clearly will be planning to, to move into phase three. And uh, based on the learning from both the Pasadena and Padova study, we'll know the path forward. Uh, and uh, um, yeah, we'll have to wait until uh, end of next year to, to have these uh, discussions, but we're really looking forward to, to it.